Hi, I'm Eleanor Breen. I'm the Deputy Director for Archaeology here at Mount Vernon. And archaeology is one of the primary ways that we know about how Mount Vernon plantation changed over time. So I'm standing in front of George Washington's kitchen, built in 1775, to solve one of Mount Vernon's remaining history mysteries. The history mystery that archaeologists are here to explore this summer is what did Mount Vernon look like in the decades before the Revolutionary War, before George Washington began his large-scale, multi-year campaign to renovate and remodel the mansion, the surrounding outbuildings, and even the gardens and grounds. Before 1775, we know that Mount Vernon was a very different place. Historical archaeologists use two primary sources of evidence to know this. That's the documentary record and the archaeological record. So upon Lawrence Washington's death, and that was George Washington's elder half-brother who gave Mount Vernon its name, there was a long list of all the things that he owned taken in 1753. In this document, people went through all of the rooms of the mansion and wrote down the objects there and their values. And they even came out to the surrounding outbuildings and wrote down what was in those as well. So it's from that document we know that there was an earlier version of a kitchen taken down in 1775 to make way for the new one. There was a dairy building for processing cheese and butter. There was a storehouse and there was a wash house for all of those early loads of Mount Vernon's laundry. The other way that we know that Mount Vernon was a very different place in 1775 was through the archaeological record. There have been generations of archaeology happening here all the way back to the 1930s. And those individuals have actually revealed bits and pieces of the foundations of these early outbuildings. And all of their work led to a conjectural map of the early layout of Mount Vernon. Our goal this summer is to reveal some of these foundations and using our modern excavation and mapping techniques to create a concrete plan map of early Mount Vernon. Team archaeology is often aided by students, volunteers, and interns. And this summer we've been lucky enough to partner with the University of Maryland to offer a six credit course in field methods in historic preservation. So right now I'm surrounded by nine graduate and undergraduate students from across the country who have come to Mount Vernon to learn how to do archaeology. So stay tuned over the coming weeks as we begin to reveal more evidence on this history mystery.